Hello everyone, welcome to Learn with AQ. Today I'll be showing you how to bypass uh, UAC, which is a very interesting Windows security. Uh, and uh, this is actually uh, to bypass UAC without the administrative rights. The real purpose of this demonstration is to educate and understand the risks so that we can set up effective countermeasures to protect our systems. First, let me explain briefly what is UAC, User Account Control. User Account Control is designed to prevent unauthorized changes to your system, especially for, from non-admin accounts. But certain commands and techniques can bypass it, which I'll be showing you in just a minute. All right. So I prepared a Windows, uh, I prepared a setup, uh, Steam setup, Steam installer, which typically requires admin privileges to run. As you can see, there is a shield right besides it. So this is the, uh, uh, the sign that it requires admin privileges to install it. Once I double click on it, it will ask me and prompts me with the UAC password input. So as this is the standard user, which I am right now in current currently right now in. So I don't have access or to uh, actually uh, install it. So I need administ administrator to come and install it. And if I'm a malicious or a bad actor, uh, I don't need an administrator because he won't allow me to install such applications in my system. So to bypass this thing, I will be uh, opening Windows R and typing CMD. It doesn't matter. I'm uh, uh, a, it's, uh, admin. I'm uh, accessing CMD with the admin rights, so it doesn't matter. So before uh, I proceed, uh, let me uh, go to my <coughs> actual directory where the files where is my setup Steam setup is. So it's in my desktop. So I'll just enter setup CD desktop. And uh, right now I'm going to write the command, which is set space double underscore uh, compact underscore layer equals to run as invoker and hit enter over here. And now I'm going to type start and steam setup dot exe. So I will hit enter over here and you can see I have successfully bypassed the UAC user account control. It doesn't did not ask me any password for the administration uh, rights. So now I can proceed with the installation, blah, blah, blah. And I can successfully install it. Remember malicious persons, bad actors, hackers actually uh, doesn't uh, uh, need to install such softwares. They actually they are they have malicious intent to damage the organization this is uh, this is with this video is only for educational purposes uh, for the administrators for the parents to check whether what kind of uh, things the, the their system has actually so <coughs> how to mitigate it how to countermeasure how to set up the countermeasures for this attack so before uh, uh, this I will be logging out from this student account. I will be signing out from it and I will be going into the administration administrative uh, account. So my administrative account is this security and uh, let me enter my password to gain access. So this everything what I'm doing is in, in a virtual environment. So uh, what a admin can do is uh, he or she can just type GP edit going to uh, group policy and uh, once in the group policy go to user configurations inside user configuration you'll see administrative templates expand this thing and you don't need to expand system you just need to click on system and on the right hand side you'll see prevent access to the command prompt you just need double click on it you just need to double click on it once double click just uh, select enabled apply and okay so this way you will be uh, you have disabled the uh, command prompt from the uh, standard user even for your for your account as well so let me sign out from over here 
and I'll get back to the standard uh, user which is my student user and uh, now I will see if I can actually uh, start the CMD so I'm going to hit Windows R now and press CMD and as you can see the command prompt has been disabled by your administrator so this is the mitigation and the countermeasure to actually uh, not to bypass UAC and the administrative rights so everyone er, er, or anyone needs to double click it and needs the administrative rights so stay safe stay secure if you like this video if you gain some information from this video please give thing give this video a thumbs up like share and comment please thank you bye